This is a brief tutorial on changing the default port number used by SQL Server. So by default it's 1433 and we can come into a DOS prompt and type netstat and get all and then get the numeric format that there's a 1433 and that happens to be the process ID I verified using task manager of SQL Server. Then you can use SQL Server configuration manager. Come down to SQL Server network configuration, go to protocols for MS SQL Server. Uh, and you can see TCP IP here is enabled and you can click here. And if it wasn't enabled, you could enable it on the protocol tab. But then go to the IP address tab. I believe these other IP addresses are all set to enable no. So the only thing that's important here is down at the bottom, this IP all, you can change that TCP port. So let's just make it 16,000 and say, okay. And you get this message that tells you you have to stop and restart the service. So click OK and come up here to SQL Server Services. Go to SQL Server, right click on it, say restart. It'll stop and it'll restart the service and then you're ready to go. We can go back to our DOS prompt here. Let's reissue the command. And now when we scroll up, we can see here's the 16,000. So I have a database app that wants to connect. So let me just come over and I'll go ahead and I'll give it the loopback address and then I'll give it that port and then we'll put in a name and password and then we'll hit log on. And as soon as I get that, I know I've hit the database and things are good to go.